Cumbria, Pendragon Castle, and Stone Circles. Approximately 22,000 years ago, the negative alien intruder groups targeted the Celtic and Druid lineages for a genocidal campaign on the United Kingdom landmass in order to eradicate the Melchizedek Christos teachings, Atlantean history, and to spread false records about the Celt and Druid lineages. This was in order to destroy the accurate records of humanity's star origins and historical artifacts, the original ancient Celtic languages that were connected to the original 12 Essene tribes. These were purposely made extinct or erased in order to remove the living light codes that were inherently spoken and expressed through these Maji Grail King lines. The Celt and Druid lineages go back to ancient Egypt and Israel, where the vernacular is found in Egyptian hieroglyphics using Cymric as the base language. The Welsh language of Cymru is part of the heritage that belongs to the lands in the United Kingdom, whether they are from Wales, England, Cornwall, Scotland, or Northern Ireland. However, the controllers have made historical accounts of Egyptian history as chaotic and confusing as possible in order to maintain the controlled narrative and derail the masses from realizing that the Egyptian timelines and Giza pyramids are remnants of ancient builder technology from our Atlantean past. When these Maji Grail lineages fled the Middle East, they settled into the United Kingdom and Etruria in central Italy, bringing their Celt language with them. Over time in Britain, the Cymric language, spoken in the Welsh region, fused with other dialects. Cumbric, from the region of Cumbria, is closely related to the Welsh language and is said to have gone extinct in approximately the 13th century. What is left in the region is not to be confused with the original Cymric, Cumbric, but it is currently referred to as the Cumbrian dialect, as it shares history with the Celtic language influence. These are the direct Christos lineages and vernacular of the Harrogamic coupling of King Arthur and Queen Guinevere, in which the seed of the Celtic language and its related dialects activate the cellular memory of the Diamond Sun genetics and the archetypal Christosophia forces rising into this area. The Celts and Druids left their knowledge and wisdom in the stone circles they built for this purpose to retain the original language and codes of the Essenes for those that would need them to awaken the Albion in the future. They merge their consciousness into an etheric crystal skull and then encompass the stones to be filled with this crystal intelligence stream. There are over 50 known stone circles in Cumbria which are becoming increasingly active at this time. As a pure heart and truth seeker, Meditation in key areas of the stone circles with the intention to connect your consciousness with the etheric brain present in the stones can relay that information and memory to those who are frequency aligned and wish to be of service to the planet. Cumbria County in the northwest of England and on the Scottish borders has key features which are important in the returning of the word logos of the Holy Father or the voice of the rightful Christos King to the lands. This area functions similarly as to the fifth dimensional throat center that is connected to the Albion light body that is located in this region. Pendragon Castle is located in Cumbria. It stands above the river Eden and according to legend was built by Uther Pendragon, the father of King Arthur. Indeed, this castle is holding multiple layers of geomantic structure throughout several dimensions connected to the history of the 12 Essene tribes and Celtic lineages connected to King Arthur, 
which have consciousness links accessing into the inner worlds and halls of Amente. Additionally, the castle has a four-pillar crystal cathedral hub for running rainbow rounds, which contains the communication portal to a hidden solar golden dragon, monadic stasis being, now awakening, beloved King Arthur. Within this hub was placed a watchtower serving as guardianship of this region for the King Arthur fifth dimensional timelines, gently lighting the grid while humanity was existing in a very stormy time period filled with energetic and spiritual darkness during the Dark Age. Recently, through this fifth dimensional portal, which is activating the throat center of the Albion, it is possible to communicate with the awakening consciousness of King Arthur as he is directly manifesting himself through the emerald ray in the Albion light body. He presents as the Holy Father consciousness of the Godhead in its entirety through all portions of creation, in which he has remembered all fallen and non-fallen aspects simultaneously throughout the timelines in this eternal moment in order to retrieve and unify all of his consciousness pieces and reclaim all of his kingdom. His Arthurian image appears superimposed within a massively sized emerald ray crystalline waterfall that forms into a vertical rod pillar, which seems to be the God body vehicle that has been built within the Albion in order to hold his immensely vast God consciousness upon the planet. The solar golden dragon egg was receded in several places within the Albion to birth the golden Christ child in the planetary grid and protect the authentic Arthurian Christos consciousness. The twelve knights are portions of energetic identities in the constellations that have different attributes that serve to unify into oneness and support the anchoring of the planetary crystal cathedral. One of the main crystal cathedral pillars built to hold the cosmic Christ consciousness on the planet is located in Norway, for it links directly with a sacred tree of life, which nourishes the earthly spirits throughout the nature kingdoms.